for clicking on my video and visiting this channel. I recently uploaded three unboxings and those three unboxings were related to Van Cleef and Apples and um, the unboxings were all regarding the same line. I completed a set and the set was the hammered gold vintage Alhambra line and um, as you can see here this was the last piece I got that was the necklace or is the necklace and vintage size and rose gold then I have the uh, vintage size um, rose gold bracelet and I have the sweet size rose gold earrings and I really wanted to complete the set and um, I got a lot of lot of PMs and DMs um, about after posting my unboxings about how I was able to obtain these three items because at the point since years the hammered gold items are very very hard to get at VCA and I got all my three items within three weeks three three and a half weeks and there is no magic behind it but I will share with you what I did and what I do when I'm trying to get an item from VCA which is so called hard to get and I will also give you the storyline and timings when I found things and um, share those things with you here today so as a little request from my side when as a content creator you do these kind of videos it's a little sign of as appreciation from your side if you can leave me a subscription or a like then i know you appreciated the video found it helpful and um, even if you have ideas how to make it better if you have suggestions what you want to see next please leave it in the comment and i will definitely take care of that so let's go into the video now like I said, this is the vintage size bracelet, this is the vintage size necklace, and those are the sweet size earrings. I did not choose the vintage size earrings because I like to wear small studs in my ears for every day and I don't take them off and the vintage size appeared quite heavy to me, didn't look that great on me either. I will insert a picture here, I tried the vintage size on and um yes so and i will give you a roundabout about the hammered hammered line what is happening now because vca is changing a few things about it so when i was looking for these items and over the past years the hammered gold line which consists of yellow gold and rose gold only um, is very hard to get when you go on certain websites which talk about jewelry or bags uh, people discuss from 2017 about um, how hard hammered gold is to get and what VCA does when items are harder to get which mostly or usually or often are their full gold items not the stone items the full gold items like hammered gold and Pioche they deliver on order that means until this week you were able if if you were able you are not even always able to do this but if they opened up an item that for being orderable you can place an you were until this or last week able to put a 30 percent down payment of the full price and um order it and they will not give you a timeline you wait until it comes and I know people who waited over six months, they paid 30% and waited over six months. Since last week, the 30% down payment has been amped up to 100% down payment. So if you want to order an item, you have to put 100% down and give it to VCA and wait until they deliver it to you. From what I noticed in the past, the down payment does not guarantee you that you get yours first. 
people walk in the store and the store has it available and if the SA likes you, he will sell it to you and the person who did the down payment waits a little bit longer. I saw that a few times and all those things were definitely not my cup of tea to do and I do not let anyone hold my money <laughs> unlimited time for sure not and usually not even more than a week because I'm not a fan of that and there's nothing I want so much that I would do that but I can work on it myself which I did with the Gyoshi with the Byzantine bracelet and also with the set um, so I went online and looked online when I look for an item I'm very diligent. I, whenever my phone is in my hand, I quickly swipe and refresh the site and check. And that's all that's behind it to find the things online. Sooner or later, everything drops online here or there. Usually it's only one piece and that's it. I noticed that's another thing I can tell you from what I noticed over the past year from looking VCA online is that they do not add items on the weekends from friday to monday it's useless to look they won't i i never saw anything that i wanted added over the weekends so i mainly look the other rest of the days and there's also not a dedicated time like when i was pursuing louis vuitton there was a dedicated time where i used to look and they dropped usually added their new stock at that time but vca doesn't do that they drop here and there throughout the day anytime anywhere so whenever you catch it you catch it if you don't catch it you don't catch it so that's the way how I got the bracelet and the earrings from online and with the necklace I saw the necklace over the past year three four times online but at that time I didn't want the rose gold and um, if you follow me you know I had the six motive rose gold bracelet and I loved it it's very cute but um, I was not super in love with the rose gold and also at that price point I decided I want a vintage one. The six motif, I put a picture here, rose gold bracelet is 3300 plus tax and the vintage one is 4450 plus tax. So it's not a huge price difference but makes a huge different impact in my opinion. So I decided I had returned that one and wanted this one in yellow gold. But meantime, I finished my Gioche set, which is yellow gold, and I knew I want the hammered gold, but I decided I don't need two yellow gold sets from VCA, and decided to look at rose gold again. The reason why I decided to do hammered rose gold was that I wanted sweet earrings, and VCA does not do any yellow gold earrings in the sweet size. So they do the metal earrings only in rose gold in the sweet size, and there's, I think, a white gold one with diamonds in the sweet size, and the rest are stone ones, and I wanted a metal one. So I ordered this and liked it. Loved it, to be honest. It's very comfortable, and I will make dedicated reviews to all of those items. I have now the three unboxings. I'm giving you now my feedback on ordering and I will make dedicated reviews so it's important you subscribe so you don't miss the videos. And um, so I like this one and decided I want to complete the set. So I got this one also online and with the necklace, like I said, I saw it three, four, five times online, but at that time I didn't want rose gold and hammered and all those things. And then when I started wanting it, I didn't see it anymore. Thankfully, I have a lot of nice lady friends in the VCA group and one of my friends, I don't know if she wants to be mentioned or not, but she knows who she is. Um, she helped me to get the necklace through her sales associate. I went to my store locally and asked my sales associate and he said, no way. I texted around 12 SAs USA wide and at the time I was looking they said no way it's not orderable there is 
there is none in the United States. And by the way, they said that for all the items. And uh, my friend helped me to get the necklace. I am forever grateful to her and very happy that I could complete the set. And I will give you, like I said, dedicated reviews on each item very soon. But um, now the case is that they opened up the orders for most of the hammered items in yellow gold and rose gold. And I suspect because they took all the down payment from all the people that not much will hit the website anymore. But I definitely think it's worth before you pay the down payment to check the website and at least for a few months and if you really cannot get it then maybe go ahead and do the down payment and order it through the boutique and get it and another thing i want to mention one more time which i didn't know when i started ordering vca or getting vca a big advantage of ordering online is that they will refund you if you don't like the item in the boutique they will not refund you the item Item you buy is the item you get and they will give you store credit or exchange it but they will not refund you the money back so when you go into the boutique and buy an item that means your money is gone if you order online and the item comes defective or something is wrong with it you can return it either to e-commerce or in the boutique and they will refund you they have 30 days of um, return policy and um, another recommendation is if you open an item and see directly you want to return it, return it right away that day or the next day. Don't wait for it and um, so that they cannot say that you used it or damaged it or something like that. What I also do as a little tip is if something comes defective, that's another thing. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that in my unboxing. This bracelet was has a whole story behind it and i'm giving you the story now too um if you don't want to watch it if you don't have the time to watch it and the peace of mind don't watch it but this bracelet or any hammered gold bracelet or the guilloche bracelet is nearly to none available ever online I was stalking this for at least eight months on the website and I kind of gave up on this already. I was only looking at the pendant at that time, but that day I hit, hit refresh and both items refreshed from my wish list and this should add to cart. I immediately added it, tried to check out. It should, I'll show you how it should, out of stock or not available or something like that. I emit, but it still showed on the website add to cart. So I immediately called customer service and said, um, this bracelet with the item number I gave them shows add to cart, but I cannot check out why. So they told me that's a mistake and glitch of the website. That item is not available in the whole, of course, United States. And um, that is a mistake. It's not available. It's not in stock. That's a glitch. I said, okay, thank you. And I kept refreshing the website, like refresh, refresh. And I tried add to cart and then it added to cart and I could not check out. So I kept refreshing my, my um, card and in one moment I was able to check out, pay and go out. Then I was thinking, okay, she said it's not available. I was avail able to check out. Maybe uh, they really don't have it, have it. And I was looking at my order history. You can see the statuses your item goes through and it was not moving. It didn't show. Usually the first step is allocated and it was not showing allocated. So I thought uh, maybe they really don't have it. Then they will refund me the money in a while. And um, yeah, it was worth, worth trying. So then a few hours later, I saw allocated in preparation in the warehouse. And I was like, oh my God, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So I was super excited. It was showing that it will ship that day that I ordered it uh, at the day. And that day it was shipping out already and was supposed to arrive the next day. So 
I was super excited and I very closely monitor because these are high priced items. We all know things get stolen, so I monitor very closely. So they shipped it out that evening. FedEx got it into their um, hands that evening at seven o'clock or something. And then it went from Texas to Indianapolis and it was not moving there. Like it went to Indianapolis from was picked up at seven o'clock it was in indianapolis at 1 a.m in the morning and was not moving the whole day from 9 a.m in the morning i called fedex and asked them why it's not moving it was supposed to deliver the next morning between 10 30 and 2 20 and you know it's signature required you have to be home and 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 so i was waiting 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 and um nothing happened it's still until 2 20 it said it would be delivered that day it did not come that day I think I made 30 phone calls to FedEx. I was super upset that the item was not moving. And you know, at night when I saw it was not moving, I Googled Indianapolis FedEx and I saw what's going on there. There are two hubs where a lot of things get stolen and one of them is Indianapolis. And I was getting super antsy. And it's very hard to talk to a person also on FedEx. I went to a FedEx store. They also connected me only to customer service. And um, they all said, it will come, it will come. I said to them, you have to take off. You have to be home. I need the time when it comes. And I need to know why it's stuck for a whole day in Indianapolis. And um, one lady put a trace on the package and um, told me also that it will arrive at a hub the next morning. So I decided the next morning for one hour to drive to that hub. I was there at 8 o'clock. It opens at 8.30 and pick up my package. So when I picked up my package, one side, the seal was broken. I was like, it looked like somebody, somebody broke the seal and it looked like somebody tried to put their hand in and get something out. But thank God VCA packaging is very good. It's packaging and packaging. Nothing happened. And um, I went home. Everything was fine. You saw the unboxing. What you saw when I um, unboxed it is what it was. So the seal where you rip off the paper, it was not broken. But the sticker seal was broken. So um, that was that. And I, when I open the package, I will uh, link all the unboxings for the earrings, the necklace and the bracelet below. I opened the paperwork and the certificate was not filled out. Generally, the packaging of the bracelet was not at par at what it usually is from VCA and um, it was missing. I immediately called customer service and they sent me a new one. They asked me to return it. They sent me a new one and I got my certificate. But um, you know, that was that. So when these items, which are very hard to get and hard to find, um, monitor the carrier very, very closely and um, be alert. And um, yes, that was my story, how I obtained all these three items. I'm very, very happy. And like I said, subscribe to the channel hit a like if you like this video and found it helpful let me know in the comments how you find your items when you want something are you open to do the down payment or do you also rely only on yourself and um yes i hope to see you in the next one like i said i will make dedicated videos and reviews about everything i have and um i hope you enjoyed this video Bye.